Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Stories of Faith. I am so happy to be here with Sarah and to hear more about what God has been doing in her life. So Sarah, start off by just introducing yourself to us. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sarah. I grew up coming to Grace, and for the past couple years, um, I've been out of province. So last year, I was in Saskatchewan working at a Bible camp. And this year, I've been attending Miller College of the Bible in Salmon Arm, BC. Awesome. And then tell us a little bit about how God has been challenging you and what you've been learning in this season of your life. Um, so recently, God has been challenging me uh, just to trust him no matter the circumstance. So um, recently, I've just um, been learning to give my anxieties over to him. As well as um, just recently in the James class that I was taking, we talked about double mindedness and the whole idea of saying that I trust in God, but then um, doing like having thoughts or actions that go against uh, my trust. And so just working to to have like be of one mind and and to when I say that I trust in God to actually be doing that. Um, another thing that he's been teaching me is about his grace. And so this is also in class. Um, I was sitting and my prof was speaking. Um, mostly it was actually about the first sin um, of Adam and Eve. But um, he started telling us uh, to look into our own lives and um, to be asking God to show us our sin. Um, he said, if only you knew how sinful you are you would understand the grace of God so much more. And so um, the next day I actually took some time and prayed about it and asked God just to be showing me my sin. And um, over the past few months, he has definitely been doing that and um, just bringing about a change in my life, but um, just not pointing out the sin and then leaving me in that, but, but his grace extended to me um, so that I can grow through through the things that he's been showing me. And how would you encourage others um, through what you have been learning recently? So I would encourage others by saying, um, first of all, for dealing with um, anxious thoughts, just to be um, fully believing in um, the character of God. Uh, we can fully trust him that he is good, that he is faithful, um, and so that he wants the best for you. And so something that um, someone said to me recently was um, think of the worst possible situation that could happen with like the thing that you're struggling with. Think about the worst thing that could happen and ask yourself, would God still be good if this, if this event came about, would he still be faithful and he will always be good. He will always be faithful. And so um, also Proverbs three, five and six is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. Um, all, well, if you're finding yourself in a place where you're not fully appreciating God's grace, um, like I said, um, ask him to show you how sinful you are. It's a scary prayer to pray, but one that just brings eventually like so much joy in it. Um, it just gives you a much greater appreciation for the gospel. Um, Ephesians 2 verses, verses 8 and 9 says, it is by grace you have been saved through faith. It is, it is a gift of God, not by works so that no man can boast. Awesome. And just to finish off, how can we be praying for you right now? Yeah, so I would really appreciate some prayer um, just with the upcoming semester. We just started classes this past month. Um, just that classes would challenge me and just be growing me in my faith. Um, and that I would be able to live that out in the community as well, um, both the, the Miller community at my school, but also the wider community of Salmon Arm, as well as um, I would also appreciate prayer for guidance this summer. Um, just I will probably be coming back home and trying to find work, but just that God's uh, plan would ultimately be, be what comes to pass. So that would be awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much, Sarah, for sharing with us. Um, we pray that it is an encouragement to all those who are watching and listening.